car thought what I wanted to do today was fix the sticky seat belts. So if you've watched my videos, it looks as though my seat belts aren't sticky, but they are sticky. And I'll give a shout out to those people. Shout out! I'll give a shout out to those of you who can accurately tell me how many times today I say sticky. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to say it a lot, which is going to be a bit of a sticky point. No, that doesn't really work. So if you watch my videos, you will know that I have the classic Mazda MX-5 problem of seat belts not being all fluid. Fluid. It's not on all Mazdas, it's only MX-5s. With well, the MX-5 seat belts, when you let go of them, the automatic uh, tensioner, retensioner, retract, swirly, swivelly, springy thing. And I didn't realise how annoying it was until I drove the car for a video that I did a few weeks ago about daily driving the MX-5 and it became really annoying because when you get out, the seatbelt falls outside the car and you can't close the door. And if you did close the door, you're going to close the door on the seatbelt buckle and that's going to ruin your paint. So today I'm going to attempt to fix that sticky seatbelt conundrum. It's actually a pretty simple fix. I've seen two or three ways of doing it. I've seen people that just completely replace the seatbelt retentioner. I don't think I need to do that yet. Maybe in a few years time. Just a reminder, my car is getting on for 14 years old now. It's not on newer Mazdas. It's only on the old ones. I've heard it's, I've heard it's from dirt or oil from your skin, which is really gross when you think about it. I hope that's not true. And I hope it's just like, this probably is true though, isn't it? Because uh, it's a used car. It's not my dirt that's making it go all sticky. Gross. Let's try and fix it and see if it works. It's pretty cold out, so my method might not work because the water might just freeze, but what can you do? Let's have a go. So I just came out to the car thinking I'd jump straight in, but um, looks a little bit cold. Pretty frosty. Bit like me at the moment, actually. Feet are pretty cold. Although these icicles do look very, very cool. Central locking nearly didn't work. So uh, haven't got a lot of hope for it starting first time, but let's see. Come on, little car, you can do it. It's not been started for two weeks. Yeah. So I've heard that actually all you need to do is just get some laundry detergent, a cloth, a bucket, probably one that's a bit cleaner than this, a towel, which I haven't got that many of, so I hope I won't need to throw it away after this. Someone's not going to be too happy about that if I have to throw away one of the towels. Also, you need like a clothes peg or I've got some mole grips and I've got a tea towel to wrap around the seat belt as well to make sure that it's nice and protected. Yeah, let's go see if it works. This is probably going to be um, quite a short video because it's quite a simple process and um, you have to wait for like an hour, but I'm not going to film that obviously because that would be really boring. But I have just managed to pinch my thumb in between these mole grips just there. Um, yeah, there's no such thing as a dangerous tool, just a dangerous person using it. So first things first, I'm gonna fill it with hot water because I don't want my hands getting all cold outside. And then you wanna take your laundry detergent and mix the water with the laundry detergent. Ooh. And I'm gonna wait for this to fill up and then we're gonna go and dunk some seat belts in it. I'll be amazed if this works. Okay, so first things first, here's the sticky seat belt on the driver's side, and as you can see, it's fine till there, and then it gets stuck, so I'm gonna clean the whole thing, and I'm gonna put these mole grips to stop it self-retracting. That's what works. And then towel down on the seat. Protect the seat, there's a lot of protection going on today. And then bucket on the seat. Put the heated seat on to keep the bucket warm. Just joking. What I'm gonna do now is just give this a proper good rinse. Rinse through. It's very soapy. It's actually already gone a lot softer than it was. Soapy. Ooh. That water is going dirty very quickly. Oh, and the buckle fell in. Not sure if it matters or not, but hopefully not. Steamy. And the next bit is really easy. You just pretty much leave this for like an hour, wait till all the dirt soaks into the water, and then dry it off. So whilst that is out there cleaning itself and hopefully uh, making my seatbelts go all sloppy, I thought it was a great opportunity to tell you that next week there will not be a video because I am filming my Christmas special which is gonna be out on Christmas day. But you will thank me once you see the Christmas special uh, because it is gonna be hilarious. If you wanna see that, make sure that uh, you subscribe to my channel and then you can watch it on Christmas day and it's like I'm with you on Christmas. Aww. Okay, so that's been about an hour and you can see the water is absolutely filthy. So what I'm gonna do now is dry off the seat belt, see if it retracts any smoother. All right, so I've taken the mole grips off. Now I'm gonna dry the seat belt out. Picked up quite a lot of the detergent on the belt. Oh. 
initial thoughts, doesn't look any better. But I guess it is still damp, so we'll see. Doesn't really look like it's worked at all, look. It's, it's not really any better. I think it might be because it's wet and it's absolutely freezing out here, but, hmm. Need to think of a second method. And my good old mate Dave is actually coming around, so we're gonna go and uh, think of a second method that might work. Okay, so got some specialist high performance silicon lubricant as method number two for the passenger side seat belt, which um, Dave will demonstrate. Actually, Dave, could you show how sticky the seat belt is on the retention when you like pull it out and then go back in? See, like it doesn't even doesn't even go back in. And what I was talking about earlier, where this sometimes falls out here, and then you can't close the door because it's gonna just it's moving, destroy though. it. Yeah, really annoying. BMW i8 Roadster. Ooh. Mm. I don't know if I'd have one, you know. Not really my thing. I like them. They're nice. <laughs> don't know if that squirm's caught on camera, viewers. <laughs> Second method, silicon spray, and I've, I've got no idea. I'm just going to sort of... Spray it on there like that, and then, oh, that <laughs> And then sort of rub it like this, and see how it goes, pull it all the way out. And apparently this works with uh, furniture polish as well. I have no idea what that car was, but it was very loud. But isn't then, I don't know, I'm not too sure about this method, because then it's gonna get silicone all over you. All over oh, your top. seat belt, yeah. yeah. Oh, bloody hell though. That worked! Yeah. That's much better. It's better than my side. You'll have to do a comparison. Is there no way you can like... Yeah, I looked at taking that off, but then I thought it's really cold and my little hands would get cold and... Ooh, poor just, Dominic. Just... Yeah, so uh, if you think uh, we failed in this video... Well, I say we, it's mainly me. If you think I failed in this video, give it a thumbs up. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure... That first bit works really well. But then, the bit that's actually slow... Mm. So that's, that's two out of two methods that have sort of failed. Let's give it another, let's give it another spray. I think give it another spray, Dom. Yeah. I think try and take that trim off. Let's make it exciting. I've got some trim removal tools. Okay, so we've taken this piece of trim out and um, that's all it took to get that out. Is like a little uh, fir tree clip. Is that a fir tree clip? Yeah, I think so. It's like a type of... Fertile clip. Maybe there's a seatbelt under there. <laughs> I don't like doing this with people's cars. <laughs> I don't know. That's right, it's your seatbelt. There, there might be. There might be one on the back. How do you lift this thing up? No, there isn't. Oh, that sounded good. All those snap clips. God, I'm so rubbish at terminology. That was it. There we go. That was a snap clip. That snapped. <laughs> so after all that. That's cool though. Never had that off before. Yeah, but after all that, Dom, the mechanism... Is behind the other panel. ...is down here. Oh, God. How far down is it? I think that's really far down. I think that's, like, down here. It's probably mounted to the floor, isn't it? Because there's nowhere else to mount it, because this is all, like, plasticky nonsense. Which is... Although, the... that, look, one, two, three clips and that. Oh, I reckon that'll then give us access. Yeah. Because that's really flexible. Let me fold the seat forwards as well. Hey! That one and that one are obviously joined together. With some sort of clip. Do you want me to yank it? And then if, if I break it, it's my car and you won't feel bad. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Can you need this off? <laughs> well, that's connected to the other side. That's a lot of work. That's quite a lot of work. Although, there's two clips there. I wonder if you took those off, it would give you enough flex. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but then this is attached here as well. Mm. That's not flexing. I must say that silicon spray, 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 silicon spray smells quite nice now. Okay, so that's a complete fail. Scrap that idea. This hasn't really worked. There's quite a lot of pieces of trim to remove to to actually get to the mechanism. Yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna actually have a smooth seatbelt mechanism, probably watch one of those other videos on YouTube. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, bit of a fail. Well, at least it was really easy to put that back on. That went on. Hello, microphone cable. Pretty much went back on in like ten seconds with those nice little clips. Let's see how much. Better or worse it is. I think you need to take two of this video and to take all that trim off. Cool, okay, well, 
Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, complete fail. No video next week because we are filming the Christmas special, which Dave Ooh, is yeah. also in. Dave has absolutely no idea no. what we're doing. It's all going to be a surprise. So it's going to be hilarious. I'm either going to do, I think I'll do one short video which will go out on Christmas Day, and then I'll do a behind the scenes video of how we did it. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, and see you very, very soon. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Boy.